everyone what's going on so how's everybody doing good good I know it's been a while since I made a video been busy you know how it gets so what I want to talk about today is I get a lot of questions about if we find anything good to eat on the road well I used to be like oh let's go to Taco Bell let's go to Chili's you know let's go to Applebee's Outback but being out here on the road that's all you have is fast food. You don't have any other choice. I mean, you can eat in your truck, but sometimes that can be a pain in the ass or it can take too long. It's easier to just grab some McDonald's. So while we're out and about, we like to try to find some either really small chain restaurants or mom and pop places. Uh, so this is going to be my top 10 eats across the country. Uh, these are places that I found that are my favorite places. Uh, they're um, list of like 10 of them they're not necessarily you know you know number one's the best or nothing it's just uh, they're all equal they're all a little different but uh, but yeah they're really really so number one on my list is probably one of my favorite taco joints it is called taco palenqua in, right here um, it's in Laredo Texas they have uh, several locations down there I haven't seen them anywhere else in the country, but man, are they good. I get the number two meal. It's uh, like little carne asada street tacos, and man, they're so good. And they have this huge salsa bar. I mean, it's almost like a salad bar, but it's all like salsas and all this other stuff to put on your tacos. It's really, really good stuff. Um, I wouldn't recommend trying to take a truck, um, a truck and trailer. Uh, you can bobtail. Uh, the ones, the one that we went to, there was a um, parking lot next door that was big enough for the bobtail. Um, so you might want to just Google map it so you, and do like a little aerial view so you can see if there's any parking around. But uh, man, yeah, it's, uh, it's really, really good Mexican food. So number two on my list is Primo Burger. Now, I'm not like a huge burger person because I don't like all that heavy, you know, big chunk of meat just sitting in your stomach. It's, you know, especially when you're just going to sit there. You know, it makes you feel all greasy and gross. But this place has the bomb-ass burger. It's called the Colossal Burger. It's like a half pound or three quarter pound patty and it has pastrami on it. Oh, man, it's the best burger ever. Now that is in Mojave, California. Um, it's... Uh, where the Highway 54 and the 14 meet. Uh, you go, you take a little turn, you go down towards the town of Mojave, and it's uh, there's a shopping center right there, so you can pull a tractor and trailer in there. Um, but it, it's it's the bomb. It's if you're ever in the area, I've heard they have like three locations. Um, so, you know, if you're not quite in that area, you'd probably want to Google it and maybe find another location. But that one has truck parking next door in the grocery center parking lot. Um, but it's really good. you got to check out the primo, the Colossal Burger. Number three is if, uh, if you're like me, I had never had real good catfish before, ever. I know it's weird. I like lived in a shell all my life or something, you know. So, but if you really like good catfish, this truck stop right here, South Fork Truck Stop in Arkadelphia on the I-30, on the highway I-30 at exit 63. They have the best catfish, I think. Uh, and it's really, it's like you order it and it comes with this huge plate full of food and you get two sides and you, it comes with a slice of cake for dessert and oh my god it's the bomb and it's a regular truck stop so of course you can park there and everything uh, it's a dirt lot so um, but yeah it has the best catfish so I'm number four on my list Duke's Drive-In now I have never had an Italian sub before an Italian beef and we were in Chicago and I had my first one at Duke's Drive-In Oh, I am obsessed with them now. Anytime we go anywhere that has an Italian beef sandwich, I have to stop and try it. And Duke's is by far the best one. Uh, there's another one in Springfield. Uh, not a Duke's, but uh, it's called... Um, oh, I can't even think of it right now. 
but Dukes is in Chicago at 8113 Harlem Avenue. It's Bridgeview, Illinois. Um, but there is truck parking. Um, there's usually not any trucks there. I mean, we, we bobtailed in there. Uh, we've seen another guy pull a truck in there. It's like an old 50 designer uh, that they drive in that they've converted into a, an Italian beef stand. Uh, so it's really good. So if you like Italian beefs, check it out. It is worth it. It's, worth, it's worth it. I have a thing for barbecue. Love barbecue. It's another one of those ones that no matter where I'm at, if I see barbecue, <laughs> freaking jerk, <laughs> I have to try it. I found this place in Auburndale, Florida. It is the best pulled pork sandwich I have ever had. It's at Smokin' Jim's. <laughs> That's 3615 Havendale. That's in Auburndale, Florida. Um, there's not room for a truck. You can bobtail in. Uh, but it's very good. Uh, we had the uh, pulled pork sandwich and the brisket, and man, that was great. It was really good. So number six on the list is Governors. Now, if you like lobster, they have the best lobster roll. Well, them in another place, but they're next. Um, they also had. Uh, we also had a. Uh, like a fish fry platter um, with fried fish and scallops and shrimp and it was really good and they had bobtail parking um, unfortunately a lot of these places they, they don't have truck parking um, but they have really good food and they're definitely worth checking out and the governors if you're ever up in Maine they have six locations six locations so you should check them out if you really like seafood and they also have a small bakery in there so you can get yourself a little good dessert uh, to go or there's another place that has a really good lobster roll. That's number seven on my list. That's the Mad Hatter Cafe in Weymouth, Massachusetts. It's uh, right south of Boston. And uh, we uh, had the clam chowder. It was the first time I ever had clam chowder. And I'll tell you what, I am a fan of clam chowder, clam chowder now. And uh, it had a lobster roll and it had so much lobster on it that I couldn't eat, even eat the whole thing. And they also have a very good Reuben, and they serve a traditional English breakfast with blood sausage if uh, you know, you're into that or you've ever wanted to try it. Uh, but it's a cool little cafe, and there's park, Bobtail Parking across the street. I believe you could fit a tractor trailer in there. Um, yeah, yeah, fit a tractor trailer in there, huh? Yeah, in the shopping center. Across yeah, in the, the shopping street. center across the street. It's, uh, I have to get a little creative. Yeah, a little creative, but uh, I believe that we saw um, a UPS truck in there, so it can be done. Um, but it's uh, it's off of Highway Three, um, at 119 West Main Street in Weymouth, Massachusetts. Now, if you're like almost every other trucker in the whole wide world, you're gonna go across I-80 in Wyoming at some point. Now, there's a Conoco at the exit 130 in Wyoming. They have truck parking and a regular store and everything, but they have this little restaurant and it's called the Dusty Trail Restaurant, I think. But they had the best Reuben and pastrami sandwich that I've ever eaten. And so that's it. They had a, it's a small menu. There's not a whole lot to choose from, but it, they'll make it all fresh right there. And man, uh, number nine on my list is in California. It's on Highway One O Highway <laughs> Highway One O One at Wilsona Road in Paso Robles, California. Well, it's just north of there. It's called the Paseo RV Truck Stop, and they have this little restaurant called Jose Country Kitchen. Um, I'm a I'm a breakfast fan, and they have a chili verde that is to die for and you can get it in your omelet or in a burrito or and it it's this massive plate full of chili verde and whatever you order it in and it is so good I swear it is the best chili verde you know I make pretty goddamn good chili verde but I think it might be a little better but you definitely have to check that out if you like chili verde and uh, if you're ever up the 101 it's you know you know there's not a whole lot up there, so 
uh, it's a good place to stop. They got a, a dirt parking lot in back, so you know, if it's raining, it's gonna be crappy. But you know, the truck and trailer fits back there. Uh, it's so, definitely number 10 on my list. If you like Greek food, this is definitely a place for you to check out. If you're ever in Columbus, Ohio, uh, it is called the the Giro City Grill. <laughs> <laughs> what? Giro, Euro, Gyro. Gyro, Giro, Euro. The Greek food. <laughs> But it's at 3797 South High Street in uh, Columbus, Ohio. Uh, they have a, I think they have a few locations, um, but that one in particular has, um, a, it's in a shopping center and you can fit a tractor and trailer in there. I uh, have to just be mindful of, you know, all the other cars, you know, depending on the, the day of the week, it might be a little full because it is a shopping center, but um, they had, we got the, Heroes, Euros, however you say it, um, and uh, the hummus with the dipping bread, and uh, I tried tiramisu for the first, no, that wasn't for the first time, I don't know, but that was really good. Cannoli. Oh yeah, and a cannoli, the cannoli was really good. Um, what's that other one I like? The layered one that comes in the wedge. The one I always, the flaky one I always get. The dessert. We get them at State Line. It's got the little crushed nuts on it and all, all the layers. Why are you crushing my nuts? <laughs> what are these things called? State Line. Yeah, at the Mad Greek. We stop and get them in California. Oh, the uh, bacala. Yeah, bacala. That's my favorite dessert, I think. That and pecan pie, but they don't have that there. But they had the bacala, which is kind of almost the same thing, almost. Uh, well, it tastes almost the same. Yeah, Greek is a baker. Yeah, oh, yeah, I'm baker. Okay. So, but if you're ever in Ohio, in Columbus, uh, check it out if you're into Greek food. It is very tasty and it's worth a check out. Side note, um, they're in California, in Baker, on I-15 is the Mad Greek and they do have uh, truck parking. Um, they have a full line of the Greek food, uh, Mexican food, I think you get burgers. Um, they do give a CDL a discount, so don't forget to ask. Um, did I say they have truck parking? They have truck parking. And uh, they're very good too. They have a, uh, but they do have a full line of desserts. Uh, they make really good milkshakes. Um, it might be a little bit pricey, you know, because it's Baker, it's that kind of out in the middle of nowhere, but make sure you ask for that CDL discount and, you know, it takes a little bit off of there. So that's definitely a good check, one to check out, and a lot of people go that way, so. So those are my picks for my favorite food across the country. Uh, if you have any suggestions of some places that are really good to go, leave them in the comments below. Make sure you like and share, and thanks for subscribing. It feels good to be a gangster A real gangster type player plays his cards right A real gangster type player never runs his mouth Cause real gangsterized players don't start fights And brothers always got a high cap Showing all his boys how we shot him